Cantata learning titles are now available on the Capstone Interactive eBook platform. My name is Shannon McClintock Miller. I am a teacher librarian. I'm going to tell you about some titles that I'm really excited about from Cantata Learning. I absolutely love all of the print titles. I have one with me today, 10 Little Kittens, but they are also available in Capstone Interactive. So I'm going to show you how to search for these titles and how to use them in Capstone Interactive. Capstone Interactive eBooks are the just right approach to digital reading. Sheep have soft wool that grows all year long. To look for 10 Little Kittens or from other titles from Cantata, you would use the search in the right hand corner. I would either have students type in the title like 10 Little Kittens or type in songs. So the first one that comes up is 10 Little Kittens. You would go ahead and click on the cover of that title and it's going to open up another window within Capstone Interactive. You can either play the book by pushing the green button at the very top of that window, or there are three tabs to find out more information. There's a summary, book information, and also a tab for more titles from the series. This is a tab that I would definitely show my students. When they click on more titles from the series, they can see all of the different titles from Cantata Learning that are in Capstone Interactive. So let's go ahead and play the book. I'm going to click on that green button right at the top of the window. And it's going to open up into another window where you see the cover of the book and also a button right underneath it that says start book. But first I'm going to show you some buttons at the bottom of the page. There's a button for to close the window, a button for page, which if you click on that, you can then click on the little squares to go to the different pages of the book. The next button says Word, and they can click that on and off, and it will follow along with the words and highlight them as they read the book. They can also click on Audio, which turns the audio on and off. The next one is Contents, and when they click on Contents, it shows you a lot of different information. They can go to the beginning of the book, they can see the copyright page, the glossary page, which is really important because it brings up words that they might not know from the book that they're reading. They can also click on sheet music and it brings up the sheet music and the sheet music is also included in the back of each book as well by the glossary, which I think is really neat for students to be able to see. And then the last button is to learn more. When they click on to learn more, then you can see additional information that goes along with each title. The next button is glossary, which is just like the button I showed you under contents. And then the last one is full screen. And full screen is a really good one because if you're showing your kids either on a screen or a smart board, you can click on that and it will show the entire book, all of the pages. And this is also something really nice to show your students how to do because then they can see just that book on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click full screen. And I'm going to go to the beginning of the book by clicking on page and that first page. And then in the center is the button that you click to be able to start the book. 10 Little Kittens, retold by Megan Borgert Spaniel, illustrated by Maxine Lee. Go ahead and turn the next page. You click on the button on the right. Baby animals like to stay together. Kittens and puppies cuddle and play. Piglets eat from a trough and chicks follow the leader. Count to 10 and back to one with these happy little friends. When you hear the baby animal, turn the page.
If you want to stop the book from playing, you just click that center button again that I clicked on to play the book. You can also go backwards by clicking the arrow on the left hand side or forward throughout the book on the right hand side. So that is how you would play a book. And to close the book, you would click on, on the left hand side at the bottom on that button with the little X. And that takes you then back into the Capstone Interactive page. And then they can go ahead and search for another book from Cantata Learning. That's how you would search for a book. Cantata Learning on Capstone Interactive. The just right solution to digital learning.